Oh, you're right. A lot will be happening in just about a bit because it's an artsy Tuesday. That means we have our art guest here. We have Igbe Henry. He's a Delta State prolific painter and a graduate of the famous Algae Polytechnic, Edo State, and the prestigious University of Lagos, Nigeria, where he specialized in painting, respectively. His studio practice spans over two decades of unwavering commitment in giving his artistic statement a visual expression. And his paintings, well, they, they, over the years, have gained global recognition. Mr. Henry, you are welcome. Good to have you here. Thank you so very much. Grant. Now, I'm I noticed you didn't you bring did. any of your pictures, but we're going to be showing a couple of them on the screen. Um, we actually have been doing so since morning when we started. But first of why is there such a big ado about your painting? Or paintings, rather, or style, <laughs> or expressions, it goes uh, on. Well, uh, my kind of uh, style... You know, I, it's more of uh, the impressionist, mm -hmm. or what we call the impressionism. Mm -hmm. I also, you know, pinch from the post-impressionist, mm -hmm. the post-impressionist uh, uh, movement. Mm -hmm. So it's a blend mm -hmm. of the two. And um, my main emphasis, my main emphasis, has always been on the usage of colors, usage of colors, colors to express my you know, creative okay. ideas. We're going to take a look at, come, uh, uh, at a couple of these uh, um, expressions that he's been talking about. But first of, when you say impressionist, an impressionist is who exactly? Because I hear that term uh, a lot. Now, this is um, a sample of your work. I can see here a couple of them. And they're diverse. It goes from abstract to actual, you know, from human form to, you know, perhaps maybe... Once again, abstract. So exactly who's an impressionist and how do we, the layman, get to understand what an impressionist, uh, impressionist's expressions are? Well, uh, like uh, from, the, from my first preamble, I, I made two, two categories, mm -hmm. the impressionist and the post-impressionist. Now, for the, impress, uh, for the impressionism, uh -huh. you know, its emphasis is on colors. Colors and the uh, effect, effect of light on images. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's just the, 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 mm. the okay. focus. Okay. Why that of uh, the, the, the post, you know, it's a little bit advanced. Okay. They, they took it further. Those okay. artists of that, those era, they took it further. Mm -hmm. You know, they, 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 they went beyond the limitations. Okay. They, they were looking at uh, destructions. Okay. They were looking at um, um, stylizations, okay. and that is why you have, if you take a look of, if you take a good look, uh, a good, a good look of, at um, um, Van Gogh's, mm -hmm. Vincent Van Gogh, George Surat, uh, Paul Gauguin, mm -hmm. you know, these are post-impressionists. Mm -hmm. What they do, they de-emphasize the natural forms, and you know comes in with distortions, mm. you know. So the way you tell of art, it makes it seem like as if it's a very elite type of hobby. Let me put it that way. But however, my question is, how do Nigerians embrace your form of art? And I mean the common man, for instance. Are they moved to want to perhaps own it as well as these people who are perhaps more um, Puritan in their, in their wants? Let me put it so. I'm, I'm talking about the division of class now and how they interact with your art. Uh, that, that's true. Uh, it depends on... Now, for the elites, mm. you know, when you come across them, find the peak, mm. they love the peak. Now, for the average... Like when they, uh -huh, when they see it, they like it. Mm. Uh -huh, but um, sometimes you also put them into consideration mm. and, uh, you know, try to strike a balance okay. and get them what they're able to afford. Yeah. I think the next question would be, how affordable is your artwork? Can we get a range? <laughs> well, uh, and, and what determines that price? Well, uh, the, the price in art is very, very generic. Mm -hmm. It depends on um, who you're meeting, mm. um, your environment, and perhaps... Uh, how emotionally attached you are uh, to yes, it, or how yes, appreciated yes, it is yes, by yes, the yes. consumer. Mm, so, ideally, you know, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, take home, mm -hmm. you know, that's in terms of pricing. Yeah. 
uh, it's, uh, like I mentioned, yeah. it has to do with yeah. the, somebody who is appreciating okay. it. So what inspires you to draw and how do you know, or to, rather not to draw, to paint? Um, and how do you know when to go abstract or when to go life form? I don't know if the, the opposite of abstract. What's the opposite of abstract? <laughs> it's real, more or less like realism. Reality, okay, reality, realism. Real, no, so natural realism. How do you realism. get inspired and what determines whether your next piece is going to be abstract or realism? I think it, it comes from within. Mm. You know, uh, first and foremost, my society, mm. you know, is my specimen. Mm. You know, they are, you know, my subjects where I drop inspirations. Now, as this thought is being incubated in the mind, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of renditions, uh, I just look at that approach that will help me okay. deliver it you know, seamlessly. Okay. That is the one nice. I go for. Nice. We're going to take a look at your artwork one by one now, and perhaps maybe give us a bit more context to the pieces that we'll be looking at. So let's take a look at our very first one here. Now, that, for instance, it reminds me of what Ikoi used to be like in the 80s. <laughs> if you remember, there used to be so many trees and parks. Yes. So what's, uh, what's the inspiration behind that and what's it called? Well, that, that's ba uh, Bami Day, Sunny Day. Mm. And we are looking at vegetations, you know, mm. you know preservation of our ecosystem and nice. all that. That's, that's, all right. Well, we have another one. Let's see another one now in just about a minute. I, I love any art form that actually has to do with nature because mm. I just think it's just wholesome. Now that's a, I think Breast it must be a lady. on the tape. That was breast on the tape. Okay. It's a figurative terms. You know, it's it, a made up word? Eh? You made up the word? No, 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 it's, you can Google it. it okay. Yeah, it's, okay, what does it mean? It has to do with, uh, you know, hope. We're looking at hope. We're looking at, uh, you know, uh, aspirations, mm. the, 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 the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Yeah, that oh, when, okay, uh, so yes. Okay, it's yes, like a runner. Yes. Oh, has, I get it now. A runner he has attained, you know. I didn't you know, see that. I saw something After else. all the work, <laughs> after all the commitment. Yeah, you're of finally course, getting success. to the finish line. Success ah, is certain at the end. Now that of has the an day. effect on me now. <laughs> Most and of my works, you know, they come with We come with story. to this. Now, th these, I notice you have uh, quite a number of abstract work, and this is one of them. It's very colorful and captivating. Yes, hanging on a wall, I would try to define it, mm -hmm. but I don't think my definition might be exactly what the painter was going for. So there's a million definitions to any abstract work that you can get. So what is your real definition for this piece? Uh, this one, uh, like I said, this one is more of the post-impressionist, mm. the most uh, the post-impressionistic uh, approach. Mm -hmm. You know where you have a lot of distortion from the normal mm -hmm. uh, human anatomy. Mm -hmm. Now this one I titled this one um, <coughs> "Grateful Hearts." Grateful Hearts. Yes, you know in our situation, the situation we find ourselves today. Mm. Instead of complaining, why not be grateful? You know. I, I, and I believe it is in the process of giving that thanks, mm -hmm. you know, that, uh, you know, the situation is bound to, to improve. Well, Mr. Henry, you have uh, such beautiful pieces and we've enjoyed a couple of them, haven't you? Uh, thank you very much for gracing us with these and we're sure that you're going to have more. Are we looking forward to an exhibition anytime soon? Uh, uh, yes, uh, this year is loaded. Um, by August, mm -hmm. let me just give this one because that's the main one. By August, uh, you know, will be my class, the class of Aoichi 1999. Okay. You know, we will be celebrating our <coughs> our 25th years. Mm, okay. You know, anniversary after. Okay. So that will be. So it's going to be form a big a... show. Nice. Town. Fantastic. The show will be here to also. Great. Herald. Mr. Henry, thank you very much for gracing us, like I said from before. Um, and do stay tuned, everyone at home, because we've got more art inside the Artsy Thursday for you here on Wake Up Nigeria. We'll be back.